Right, we're going to be throwing a standard bowl form now on the Cowley wheel. The beauty with this wheel is it's small, compact, but extremely powerful. So for amateur, professional alike, this would pretty well do everything you could ever want your wheel to do. But with the advantage, when you're not using it, you can actually tuck it away. The seat's detachable. You can put the seat on the top, stick it in the cupboard, stick it in the garage. You could use this in the kitchen, and then when it's not being used, just tuck it away in a corner. I very often use this type of wheel when I'm giving demonstrations because it's ideal for going into the back of the car, carrying into church halls, schools, colleges, etc. So all round it's a really good wheel. We're going to centre the clay first. This involves getting the clay right in the middle of the wheel. Once we've centred, we can begin to open up. For the bowl form, we create a sort of soft doorknob shape. This allows me to get underneath the clay and bring the walls out. Thumb goes in. We then pinch and lift up and out. This bowl is going to be for Raku. So the shape of the bowl and also the clay are important. This is a standard school buff and is fine for standard Raku firing. And the simple shape of the bowl makes it ideal for this method. Gentle, soft curves give the pot more resistance when it's been removed from the kiln. I'm going to use the rib just to gently create the curve inside the bowl. This is optional. Some people like to leave the finger marks inside, but other people prefer to remove them, particularly if you're going to be decorating. You might like to have a smooth surface to decorate onto. I'm going to trim the base now. And now I'm going to use the rib very gently on the outside of the bowl to make sure I've got the curve I require. Double check the inside. Going to use the rib to create this gentle curve inside, sweep down from the top edge to the centre. This smooths out the clay and gives me a lovely surface to decorate onto. Just a gentle sponge inside to remove any marks or slurry. Same on the top edge. Just make sure the curve is as I want it. And there we have one bowl. This will go through then for processing, through biscuit, glazing, and then we're going to fire this in the raku kiln. I'm going to cut the pot from the wheel now using the wire, like so. Dry the hands, and then we can gently lift the pot from the wheel. <laughs> 